I'm very happy to be talking to Deborah Taylor Tate. She is a former commissioner for the Federal Communications Commission, um, and uh, you are currently pushing a project, Girls and ICTs. Now, there is a lot of resistance uh, within education for girls to get into ICTs, either personally felt by girls or projected onto them. What are you doing with this project? So one of the things that we really need to do is focus on explaining to girls and women how ICTs make a difference. So it's not just about going in and programming something or coming up with a new app, but it's actually what the application of this technology is going to be. Um, saving unborn children's lives out in a village or at 10,000 feet in the Andes Mountains. Um, so many incredible e-health applications that I think part of this is about explaining to girls and young women if you stick with this um, education then one you will have a job because there are so many jobs available and the other thing is that you can make a difference you're not just in a cubicle inventing something you will actually be changing the world. How much of it is, is girls believing that they themselves can't do this job because they see the geek model is normally this, this young guy, isn't it? Yes, unfortunately I think it is and that goes back again to how do we get the media to partner with us on showing just how fun it can be. Um, you know, I met one of the young astronauts from the U.S. not long ago. She is spending all of her free time going to middle schools to say, let me tell you how exciting this is. She's very attractive, she's very lovely, she's very fit. You know, and she wants to say, um, this is an incredible career for young women, so stick with science and math. You are also an envoy for child online protection. Are we just talking about protecting children from, from inappropriate content or is there much more? Well, I think that that's where the conversation originally started and actually when we named the initiative Child Online Protection, that was really where we were because we were trying to protect children. I think that now it's become much broader than just trying to protect children or just trying to specifically protect them from predators. Um, and so now we've gone into this entire realm of all the possibilities that um, ICT and and the internet can provide and that we want them to certainly know how to navigate that so that they can attain all those fabulous opportunities. And one of the issues seems to be in introducing young people to the concept of privacy when the default is share. Yes, absolutely. And I think that um, one of the things that we've been seeing, even with our very youngest children, is that when they go online and they're asked, to, what's your name? They tell someone their name because they also have this very honest approach to life. You know, they want to be honest. And then suddenly they've told mommy's name and mommy's birthday and their own birthday. And so one of the things about kind of having a curriculum for good digital citizens is teaching them from the very beginning who to share information with and possibly who not to share information with. Uh, Deborah Taylor-Tate, thank you very much. <laughs>